Mom's mm -hmm. been blowed up by phone like more than usual. No, I don't think Dad's dead. She would have texted me that. What the fuck are you doing in my daughter's room? Could be dead Bobby. It's not really text worthy. No, random thought. Does like, Bobby you remind you shit out? of King Joffrey? Blonded. Do you need something? Yeah. Can you leave? Can I or will I? Will you please get the fuck out? My wife and kids will be here any minute. Are you in town yet? How close are you to the corner of 10th Street? Be out front in five minutes? Oh. I just have to stay here another minute or so. To let your little guys do their work. What? No, 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 you, 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 you said you were on birth control. I, 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 I wore a condom. Here's the thing you need to know about me, David. I don't give a fuck about your wife and kids. And I poked a shit ton of holes in that condom before we used it. It's good seeing you, David. Hey, my favorite big brother. Don't even give me that shit. What? Are you leaving David Young's house? Maybe. What? What's the big deal? The big deal is I don't want David Young's fuck juices all in my car. I fucking hate that guy. Isn't he married? Yeah. He told me to leave, so I told him I poked holes in the condom. <laughs> it was hilarious. He's gonna kill himself on Christmas. I hope you're happy now. Him? We're going home for the holidays. We'll all be on suicide watch. Yeah, you're right. How's the newly single wife treating you? Great one. What? You can't check up on my favorite big brother? I don't know. You know, I, I just, uh, I think about her all the time, and then when I'm not thinking about her, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to block her out, and then, and then it creeps in again, and, and then I want to jump off a fucking building, you know? That's all of a building, because there's a treehouse out back. Thanks. Thanks for the support. Does Bob know? What do you think? I think we should get out of here before Davy's wife shows up. Davy? Really? Mm. Fuck. Brother and sister are here. What? Well, we're home. So we need to get our stories straight. Oh my god, this shit again? Yes, this shit again. All right, fuck it. How's your life this year? Well, actually, I've been thinking about it a lot. So, I'm dating a guy named Steve. Last year, I was an Alex. I have a promotion on the table, and I'm going back to school. This sounds like an e-harmony ad, okay? We're going in here for, for Christmas dinner. It's not, they're not gonna believe this shit. So you wanna tell them the truth? That Karen left you because you drink and do drugs? Everybody does drugs. You do drugs. They, 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 like, you just, you're currently doing drugs right now. What are you talking about? So, Michael, how's that career going? Alright, fuck it. <coughs> You're right. I'm happily married, and I'm happily writing. Writing what? I don't know. A mystery? That's what I am to these people anyways. Good news is, at this age, they don't expect me to do shit with my life. 
They're just happy to see that I still have hair. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Steve Promotion School married writing. Steve Promotion, Promotion School married writing. You think this shit's gonna work? I don't know. Yeah, last year I told Grandma I wanted to go to space camp and she gave me 500 bucks. I'm not letting you roll this again. They're here, they're here. My babies are finally home. Come in, come in. Oh. Yep. Oh. Where's Karen? Is she oh. coming later? Yeah, she had a, a thing, but she'll, she'll be back. Oh. Well, look who it is. Mr. P's the bed at 26. Oh, Michael. Do you want me to shit in your mouth when you fall asleep tonight? That's no way to talk to your older and better looking brother, now is it? You forgot alcoholic. Dick fucker. Whoa, settle down, guys. Bridget, always a pleasure. Isn't that what the boys say? Ow. Becky, oh, just look at you. You are so beautiful. Mm, I need a drink. Oh. You just missed that nice young man who drove me here. Now I know you take your men like you take your coffee. Hot, black, no children. Becky here likes them any way she can get them. Especially if they got lots of money to give her. Is that you, Michael? It is me, Grandma. Your <gasps> favorite. Oh, have you gotten gay married yet? You know it's legal now, honey. Grandma, I'm, I'm, I'm not gay. And I, and I don't think they call it gay married. I think it's just married. You'll go to hell for it in the long run, but, but it's okay for right now. Grandma, I'm, I'm not gay. He's being shy. Michael is super gay, Grandma. Just can't get enough man action. Oh, honey, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> you know, your old grandma used to have a wild streak in her. I was with this Chinaman one time. Okay, and I'm done. He said the alphabet to me with his tongue. <laughs> oh, honey, you can't do that in here. Bobby is deathly allergic to smoke. Did you say smoke or work? Hey! I thought I heard you guys pull in. Uncle Raymond! <laughs> How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. I'm looking good, Michael. Whoa. Is this thing new, buddy? Yes. Thing? Do you love it or double love it? <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna need a bit of help, okay? The turkey's almost done, but your cousin Brian's in there and he is like no help in the kitchen. I mean, he's in the kitchen, but he's not in the kitchen. Who? Oh, honey, your cousin Brian just got out of prison last week. That's a strange way to say he's a complete psychopath. Be nice. Wait, dinner isn't ready yet? It's almost ready. We're just waiting on your father. What? Oh, well, he'll be here. He just had to run a few errands. On Christmas Eve? He will be here, okay? Oh, cut that shit out. What? Uh, I saw you roll your eyes. It's Christmas Eve. Dad's gonna be here. Okay, if we wait for Dad, we're all gonna fucking starve to death. I hope you're cool with that, man. I am cool with that, hombre. Nobody gets any goddamn food until Dad gets here. I mean it! What the fuck is this? Mom said that if I get really good with the candy cane for Christmas, Santa's gonna bring me a very tactical 21-inch extendable baton. Army issued ninja approved. So it's a temper tantrum stick. Oh, it's a temper tantrum stick. Oh, Bridget. Stupid like a Harry Potter wand to me. Ooh, like a wish stick. Why do you wave that thing around and ask for something important like a pair of balls? Or a pair of tits. He has those. No, I mean like bitch tits, not like bitch tits. <laughs> we wait for dad. Turkey's pasted. Kids, you remember your cousin Brian? Is that his wife or his daughter? I don't know.
At least take those fucking potatoes out for a drink first. Christ! What the fuck is going on? I don't know. Bridge, I'm putting you on cookie duty. He's gonna kill us, isn't he? We're fine, okay? We're family. Besides, people like that only murder, like, you know, weird homebodies that still live with their parents late into their 20s. I've never been with a real woman, and... Oh my god, you might be in danger, Bobby. How's your cookies coming along? Girthy. Girthy, good. Well, don't make them too big, because I'm on a strict diet this year. Oh, you will love these. I will love them. They're gonna be good. Oh, hey, how's that job of yours going? I actually just got a promotion. What? Great news. Yeah. And what about school? Have you thought any more about that? Uh, I'm gonna be taking some spring classes. I just gotta save up some book money though. I was gonna get another job, but then that'd mean I'd have to stop volunteering at the homeless dog shelter. Oh, you know what? Yeah. We can help you out with that. Give you a little extra Christmas dough. Get it? Dough. <laughs> is about to meet badass Bob here. What you doing? Nothing. Don't you know how to knock? Knocking will give you a chance to let that dildo slip out of your hand. Or your butt. <laughs> what do you want? I want to know if you want to come down and talk to Brian with me. Come on, you almost pissed your pants earlier. I didn't piss my pants, Michael. Okay. You need to relax, all right? <clears throat> Look, he's family. People don't kill their families. People don't kill their families? Haven't you ever heard of murder-suicide? Lizzie Borden, or the Menendez brothers, or the DeFeos. Fucking O.J. Simpson, he killed his whole goddamn family, Michael. People kill their families all the fucking time. Okay, okay, I don't know who any of those people are besides O.J. Simpson, and they let him go because he's innocent, all right? Relax. Listen, the only thing you need to know is that they killed their family or that they are a dead family. And that's exactly what you, and me, and everyone else downstairs is gonna be if we don't get John Wayne Gacy out of our fucking house! Fine! What's your plan? I got this. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm in an all-male jazz band called The Fantasticals. Yes! And we love the name The Fantasticals, except we had a little issue. We were gonna call it The Nine Inch Males. <laughs> I love Males, it. nine inch yeah. males. Yeah. But then we thought, you know, that's a mouthful. That's a lot to. It's, it's a little bit. It's, yeah. a, it's a little, you know. And then I thought we might get sued for false advertising because, well, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your show like? What do you do? Well, we do a lot of this. Now, listen, it's still cool. It's like roller skate. It's still cool. It will never not be cool. Okay? okay. But you gotta get it like this. Like this? Oh, I like that. Yeah, come on. Now, this way. Come on. Yeah. Like this way. This way, girl, you have no rhythm at all. Shut your no, up. no, it's like trying to teach a dead person to dance. It's crazy. Stop. Don't go around. I'm sorry. It's so mean. What are you gonna teach me? Teach me something. I'll teach you how to twerk. Get back to twerk. That's what you need to do. Get your biscuits, girl. Your plan is to pull a gun on a guy who just got out of prison? That's your big idea? Michael, the first rule of the big house is as soon as you get onto the yard, you find the biggest, baddest dude that you can, and you fuck him up. We gotta show him that we're not scared. Well, you are scared of Do you even know how to use a gun? Yeah, you point and you shoot. Stop fucking pointing at me. Okay. Are you in or not? No, I'm not in. He's gonna end up butt fucking you with your own pistol. Not if I fucking shoot him first. We've gotta show him that this is our house. Prison was like fucking cake for that dude. You know what they do to cake in prison, Bobby? Do you? No, sir. No? Good. Let me tell you. You see, we get the cake, a room full of guys, and we fuck it at the same time. Just a bunch of badass dudes fucking a piece of cake. Let me ask you, Bobby. You ever seen the dick of a nice before? Just one time, sir. Just, just the one time. It's pretty messy, isn't it? Yes, sir. about it, cuz? You wanna go halvesies on this big fat piece of cake, Ken? Mm, no, I, I only fuck cake I'm not related to there, Hannibal. <laughs> Let's 
That's too bad. I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. Bobby wouldn't let that happen, right, Bobby? You're the biggest and baddest in the house, right? I mean, this is your yard. Right, Bobby? I mean, Cousin Brian, this, this is a really big house. I mean, like, like I can be a bad dude, and, and, and you can be a bad dude, and, and even Michael there, he can be really big and bad, too. I mean, isn't isn't that okay? I like your toy gun there, sugar tits. Michael, what the fuck was that? Yo, you're a pussy, dude. I'm a pussy, Michael? Yeah. You have some dude tell you he's gonna fuck you like the prison pound cake and let's see what you fucking do about it. That's what happens when you point toy guns on fucking real life criminals, Bobby. Jesus, man. And, and I don't even wanna know how you know what a dick covered in icing looks like. It's cause I fucked a can of icing, Michael. Carolyn, sweetie, I'm gonna need some brown sugar. Me too. Right I now. think there's some in the cabinet by the sink. This one? Oh no, not that one. Yep. What's this? That's probably an old bottle. Bullshit. Raymond. Really? Don't feed me bullshit and tell me it's caviar, Carolyn. Raymond, not in Bullshit. Bullshit. It's not like she doesn't already know, really? Um, you got a I problem! A you got a problem! It's been a crazy week and I've had a headache and... Oh, fucking headache. I got a fucking headache. I got a fucking Raymond, headache. Raymond, stop it! Really? What's this? Raymond, cut What's it out! Shit? Right, cut it out. You fucking Raymond, cut it out. Raymond, please. Really? What is this bullshit? Where's the rest of them? You got another one here? Raymond! Spices? Fuck these spices! Raymond! Yeah, what do you know? Is this your fucking seasoning? I know what these pills are and I know what they do! They hurt you! And they hurt me! They hurt everybody! Raymond! What's wrong? Oh, nothing. About Christmas. But you're crying. No, no. They're just tears of joy, my little bear cub. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Mom? Yeah. When's Dad coming home? Soon. He'll be here soon. Hey, have I ever told you about your first Christmas? Every Christmas. <laughs> you can tell me again. It was so cold that morning. Your brother and sister were being a pain, as usual. And your dad was gone for like hours. I had no idea where he was. And then out of nowhere, he comes busting through the door with the biggest tree I've ever seen. I told him that there was no way that that tree was gonna fit in her living room. Next thing I know, He's chopped that beautiful tree in half. And he looks at me and says, Now, now we're, we're both friends. right. <laughs> Your sister, she cried and cried when she saw that beautiful tree cut in half. I really didn't think that she was ever going to talk to me again. Broke her little heart. Hey, so dinner's ready? Honey, save it. Bridget, mom's really trying. Trying what? Vicodin? We know shithead. Michael, mom has the disease. I know. I'm staring at it right now. Oh, it looks cancerous, buddy. Hey, what's wrong? Little Bobby gonna cry. If you love mom so much, why don't you marry her? Uh, oh. ah! Give me the light! No. Ah! I'm gonna rip it off and I'm gonna butt fuck you with it! Ah! 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 This is the year I kill you! This is the year I fucking kill you! You're so pet, you're eating mom's soul! Ah! I'm here to save the family! Save the family, ah! Michael! Save the family! Save the family? Yeah. You got those terrible little bird bones! You couldn't say shit! 
You're aging like milk! You're not gonna live long enough to save anybody! Hey, hey, just want to let you know your dad's here. Who? Jack, your dad. He's here. Dad? Ah! Oh. Hey! <laughs> dad! <laughs> oh, hey, now, take it easy. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Doing You've good. Been working out? Every goddamn day. <laughs> All right, let's see Bruce Lee. <laughs> John claude Van Damme. <laughs> Chuck Norris. <laughs> oh, slow motion. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Pops, I didn't think you were going to make it this year. They didn't think you were going to make it, but I knew you would. Well, of course, I'm not going to miss Christmas with my family. Come on now. Family? Really? What about her? What the fuck's going on, Dad? Hey, you watch that mouth. Now come here. Dad, I don't know what's going on, but I think you should leave. What? Dad's not going anywhere. It's Christmas. Stupid. Leave? This is my house. I have just as much right to be here as anyone else in this family. And plus, your mother invited us. <laughs> hey. Let me get your coat, honey. Killed her! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Let me get your coat, honey. Is that, is that all you're eating? Mm. No! That is just such a beautiful dress, Ruth. Thanks. Jackie said to look nice. Can't believe you can afford such a nice dress on a teacher's salary. Caroline. It's okay. Better take a look at what else my teacher's salary bought me. <laughs> such a lady, Jackie. Don't stoop to her level, Caroline. Eat your greens. So, is anyone gonna explain what's going on here? It's pretty simple. Dad is fucking this art teacher. Bridget, enough. Yeah, yell at me. Awesome. What does that even mean? Fucking? It's like sex stuff, Bobby. Dad's doing sex stuff with her. No. I don't believe that. Believe it. Jack and I have, uh... Well, we, uh... Your mother and I are going to take a break after the holidays. So you're splitting up. Michael, we... Oh, great. You know what? what? You're going to tell us after the holidays? Is that your plan? Maybe call us on New Year's? Hey, Happy New Year's. Guess what? Your father and I are fucking splitting up. <sighs> Michael, we... No, I I'm done. Michael. I don't care, okay? I really don't. I'm sick and fucking tired of being the only one with my shit together in this family. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got my shit together. Really? You're 26, you still live with mom. You do half-ass karate upstairs and you jerk off with cake icing. Boy, you got your shit together all right. Congratulations, Bobby. Michael, please relax. Your mother and I are working. No, Dad. This family is fucked. Hey! I'm serious. Mom's a pillhead. Dad's banging some puffy paint artist. And Brian's fresh out of Alcatraz. 
And you know what? Michael is the only sane one in this family. And he's an alcoholic divorcee at the tender age of 31. Michael, uh, you and Karen split up? I... Stop, okay? I don't need anyone's pity, especially this family. What? Um, it's nothing. It's nothing. Clearly something's funny. I was thinking back to earlier when you said you had your shit together and that none of us did, but then I got to thinking that you're just as messed up as the rest of us. Like, you're just kind of a fuck up too. Congratulations, sir. Cheers. Chin chin. Oh. You know what? <laughs> fuck you, Bobby. Boy! Knock it off! Well, everybody... Merry Christmas. I've officially had my salad tossed. How you doing down there, Mom? I liked her boobs. Michael! Go away. I'm in. Are you smoking weed in there? I'll tell mom. The smoke's gonna fuck up her big house. Look, I'm sorry I told everybody about you and Karen. It's okay. So far, the only good thing about Christmas this year is seeing Uncle Raymond. You know, he's the one that gave me my uh, sex talk when I was a kid. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Uncle Raymond? Mm -hmm. It was awesome. You know, except for about six years, I thought that uh, sex was between two men who loved each other very much. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I learned about sex with mom. Oh, talk about awkward. You know, I'm pretty sure she was breastfeeding Bobby when she gave me the talk to. <sighs> This was last year? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Could I tell you something? Yeah. I liked it better when Dad wasn't here. Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one that felt that way. Shut up. Dad's your favorite. What? He is. I mean, when I was little, but like, ever since I was about like 10 years old, it all kind of faded away. I guess it just... Saw him for what he was. What do you mean? That's a fuck up, Michael. Okay, look. I'm not defending his current actions. But he's not a complete fuck up, right? He missed my sweet 16th birthday party. I know, I know. That's because he was with me. We were at a strip club. Oh, wait. My party was in the middle of the afternoon. Uh, <laughs> we are wonderless. Okay, all right. He's a fuck up. <laughs> so what do we do? What do you mean? What do we do about dad and old Bob Ross with tits out there? Oh God. I don't know. You know, I think mom was trying to have like one last perfect little family Christmas and then she showed up. <laughs> fuck her. Well, I think Dad beat you to that one. <laughs> All right. What? This. What does that? What do you want? Shake it off. <sighs> All right. Forget about Mom. Mm hmm Forget about Bobby. Uh -huh. Forget about Dad. And listen. Listen to me. Okay. No more thinking about Karen. We're gonna get through this. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, we look like shit. Is this what we look like? I don't know what it's still up fighting. <sighs> Much better. Okay. Be cool. Um, Let's I'm so cool. Do I look high? We're 
<laughs> yeah, so I just looked up a recipe online. Online? Uh, yeah, I thought, um, you know, I guess I already have pumpkin pie, so I thought I'd bring an apple. Hi! Karen. I, um... Aren't you excited to see me? Karen, um... Everybody knows about the divorce. Well, this isn't awkward at all. I, listen, I... You know what? I, Save it. He smells like a jazz bar. You have fucked up a lot, but this is a new fucking high for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this funny? No. Are you laughing no. at me? No, it's not that. It's... Oh my god. <laughs> You're stoned. You're fucking stoned, aren't you? Just chill. Just relax. I'm sorry, Carolyn. Karen, why don't you sit down? I like am. That? I tried, but you're hey, so- I tried too, you know? I mean... <laughs> Can we please talk in the kitchen? Divorce. Maltov. Yes, I am a little high, okay? You can't just march in here and yell at me in front of my family. Well, I didn't just march in here. We had a plan. You asked me to come here and play pretend with your family so they wouldn't know what a fuck up you are. You wanted this. Okay. I'm sorry. I can't believe I came here. I love your family and now they all think I'm some kind of psycho. Nobody thinks you're a psycho, okay? It's my fault. I'm sorry. Michael, you can't just pretend your way through life. You have to actually deal with your problems. <sighs> What'd you say? I said you have to actually deal no, 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 with no, no, your- No, 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 before that. You can't keep playing pretend. Okay, thanks. Okay, I need Bridget, Bobby. Come on. So what does this Hail Mary plan involve? But we don't have to like, love each other, do we? Oh, no, no. We just need to pretend, all right? It's easy. Go in there, clean up a little. Open some gifts, take some pictures. Then, we never, ever have to come home, ever again. Wait, wait a minute. Your plan is to actually keep playing pretend? Even after we just talked about you dealing with your problems? It's unfucking believable Looking good, Karen. Mm, she smells pretty. Like lilac. I want to smell like lilac. Me too. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm in. Bobby? I'm in. Let's do the damn thing. Fumbled up in the holidays. Let me let me help you with that. Just oh geez, let me. Um, oh my God, this is just getting worse. That's red wine. It's gonna stink. Dear, do you have something else to put on? I I didn't bring anything else. Oh gosh, I guess you, honey, you might have to leave early. Ruth is not going anywhere. It's okay, honey. We'll figure something out. Oh, I have spare clothes upstairs if you'd like to borrow some. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Ba, ba, ba,
Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, dear. 1998 was my best year. Did you get divorced that year? Uh, you know, this is my last Christmas. So I thought I would clean house and give you kids some of my belongings now so you don't fight over them after I die. Oh, Mom, don't be silly. You're going to be around for another hundred years. God, I hope not. Here we go. Okay. Condoms. Do you gay boys use those, honey? Grandma, I'm, I'm not. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Grandma. You're going to make some man very happy someday, dear. Um, yeah. Ninja, ninja, you're a tactical pound. Get your ass and take the names. Go ahead. Oh, honey, come on. Put it on. Yeah, honey, put it on. Honey, you know this is my last Christmas, and can't you do it for me, please? Okay. Oh, I have to get a picture of this. <laughs> okay. Come on, a nice big smile for me. Mom, you, you know how much I really, really hate taking pictures. No, but you look so cute in that oh, sweater. Well, all right, just one. <laughs> Grandma must have worked hours. Hold on, Mom. Bridget, put down the phone. Bobby, back over here. Yeah. Selfie. Sorry. Smile. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I love it. Perfect. No, no one more. Just one Come on. Okay, that's it. That was that was just just so, so, so perfect. Yeah, you can work Can you please just get one more with Grandma? <laughs> oh, come on. Grandma, it's perfect. She's standing over there next to her wearing that sweater. Sure, Mom. It's ridiculous. I love it. all know exactly what's going so on with all of her business. Okay, Mom, smile. Smile a little, Mom. Bobby, you smile too. All right, all right, come on. Let's open up something else. Let's get something expensive. Uh, I mean, fancy, like nice and stuff, you know. To a perfect Christmas. <laughs> all right, everybody, be cool. All right, just be cool. I told you they're going to fucking kill us. Shut up. Teddy, get their stuff. Let's go. Doing great, baby. Timmy, shut up. They don't know it's me. <laughs> you too, Grandma. Teddy? Teddy Miller? Oh, oh, don't you talk to him, Carolyn. Teddy, that's you, isn't it? Oh, well, is this some sort of Christmas? Hey, stay in your seat and shut the hell up, Carolyn. Okay, okay. I have to yell. All right, get the presents. Really? You're robbing your own family on Christmas Eve. Look, I don't have a family, you understand me? <laughs> Go get the car. Damn it, damn it, go! I'm sorry, Mrs. Early. I need those earrings. You can take your mask off, idiot. I know it's you. I can't take off my mask, Cousin Michael. You'll be able to identify me, okay? I know it's you, Brian. Gee... Come on, man! I get it, okay? Life sucks. <sighs> Just when you think you're getting ahead, things start to fall apart. 
and you take a second job and you're working all the time and your wife starts to get unhappy and when your wife's unhappy you're not happy okay and then you start drinking and that leads to more drinking and then guess what she leaves and then you find yourself in bed with some 19 year old girl and sure it's fun oh god it's so fun <laughs> and her body's tight and she smells like lilacs and who the fuck doesn't love the smell of lilacs man what are you getting at michael what I'm trying to say is, life's not all young pussy and lilacs, man. It's tough out there. But you don't have to do this. Put the gun down. Okay? Let's go back to making Bobby try on weird shit, huh? What do you think? No! No, 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 no! Look, none of you visited me when I was in prison, all right? No, this ain't a family no more. You don't know me. You don't know shit, you understand? I know you're not gonna shoot me. I know that. I know you're not gonna shoot me. Michael! Because we're family. Stop saying that! Okay, okay, the good thing, people, is just calm down. He didn't kill her, okay? The bad thing is she's been dead for about 40 minutes. I, I think she choked on a cookie. Oh, my God. Are you fucking kidding me? All I wanted was one final family Christmas. And you couldn't even give me that! I can't pretend like I'm okay anymore! My fucking mother is dead, my children are on drugs, and my husband is dick deep in some art teacher! No! Don't touch me! I can't pretend like I like having you live here anymore, Bobby. You're almost 30 fucking years old. Get a fucking job already! You actually think that I buy any of that horse shit you bring home with you every year? Your job promotions, fiancés, your fucking dick cookies. Oh, and my favorite, that little glimmer of hope you give us every year that you might be going back to school and finally doing something with your life. And Jackie, sweet, sweet Jackie. You bring a fucking whore into our house for my mother's final Christmas? Really? I want it one day. Just one more day, Jack. You are... You... You, Jack. You're the love of my life. You were the glue that held this family together. They never knew that. But it was always you. Always. Never coming back. Michael, I need you. Call
call a squad car for Grandma now. Hey, kiddo. <laughs> if you're trying to get me to stay, you're way too late, man. No, I... I came up here to tell you I'm sorry. Sorry to hear about the divorce. I really am. Yeah. Me too. Now listen, your mother and I have not been getting along for a long time now. Your mother. Yeah, she is something else. Been together for almost 30 years. That's hard to believe. So that's it. It's like a milestone thing. You know, 30 years go by and then you get to take your dick in and get it serviced by an art teacher. So that works? Hey! I'm just trying to understand. I mean, how could you be banging Ruth and still be married to mom? Did you guys even try? I tried, Michael. I am not just banging Ruth, all right? We've been dating for a few months. But your mother would not give me a divorce. Until after Christmas, she said she didn't want you kids to... You know, it doesn't matter. The bottom line is, your mother was looking out for you kids and made me wait to have one final family Christmas. And after the holidays were over, then she said she would sign the divorce papers. So why did you even bring Ruth home? I was angry with your mother. I mean, she kept changing the rules on me. I mean, she was hot and then she was cold. She knew about Ruth, but she kept saying she wanted to work on things. Now, I was very clear. I did not want to work on things. So, you know, one minute she was fine with the split and then the next... So I started seeing Ruth behind her back. And I'm not proud of that, but it... It just seemed easier, you know, until after the holidays were over. God, I was just so mad at your mother because she kept holding that divorce over my head like some reward for being a good boy for Christmas. I'm not asking you to forgive me, Michael. That's not why I came up here. I just... I guess I just wanted to tell my side of the story before you kids start to hate me. Dad. Yeah? We already hate you. <laughs> Especially Bridget. I think it's gonna take a lot more than just buying our new bike for Christmas to fix this. <laughs> no, she, she was always my princess, but gosh, she turned 14 and I didn't know how to talk to her anymore. It's like, but you know what? I'm your dad and I always will be. And I love you guys. No matter what. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? Well, I had a really rough night and I thought I would stop by and get my stocking stuff. You can't be here. I'm serious. My wife and kids are right inside. Everyone's asleep, right? <laughs> you just don't get it, do you? My wife, my kids, they have to come first. I get it. You've got a family. Loud and fucking clear. Look, I had a lot of fun with you. A lot. A lot of fun. But I, I just can't keep playing pretend anymore. You're a really great girl. And you're gonna find somebody, all right? I already found someone, but he's married. I'm so sorry. Oh, wait. No, I wasn't talking about you. I'm fucking this guy at my gym. I think he might be the one. Merry Christmas, Daisy. What do you 
want? Hey, Karen. Look, don't hang up, okay? Are you sleeping? What do you want? I, well, I, I came by to... I came by our house to talk, and you, you're not here, so... Well, I'm at my mom's house. It's Christmas Eve. Wait, you're in my house? Michael, that is not okay. That's breaking and entering. It's not breaking and entering. It's my house, too. I live... I can't... I can't break into my own house. Correction, it is not your house anymore. It is my house. Hello, Michael, are you there? It's weird to keep saying it's not our house, yet there's a picture of us in the kitchen. What do you want? <sighs> Grandma's dead. Oh my God, what happened? Oh my God, Grandma is dead? Yeah, I, I, I got shot at. Somebody shot at you, Michael. Are you okay? Yeah. Bobby actually knows karate. <laughs> Dad's been fucking that art teacher for a long time. Wait, all I got from that was that somebody shot at you and Grandma died from Bobby doing karate. No. She choked on a dick cookie. I mean, it could have been any of us, really. Oh my god, Michael, I am so sorry. It's been a long night and I thought I was just... I'll stop by and tell you I'm sorry. For what? I've been kind of a dick lately. Kind of? You made me look like a total head case. Oh my god, and now your grandmother's last memory of me is me acting like a total dipshit. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry about that too. That's awesome. Uh, you were right. I'm sorry, what was that? I said, you were right. You had me. I can't fix things. I can't fix things between us, and, and, and I definitely can't fix things with those fucking idiots. I've tried so hard my entire life to, to be this person that they would look up to. I've been pretending to be someone else. That they would... I don't know. I, I thought if I was somebody they could be proud of, they would just fall in line, you know? Michael, you can't fix people. Yes, your brother and sister are fuck-ups. But you did get them to try and help you when you asked. So you do get some hero points for at least getting them to try. Yeah. Hey, uh, I, uh, I'm also sorry for keeping the divorce a secret. I thought if I said it out loud to them that it would be real. And I'm, I'm not ready for it to be real. Okay, I shouldn't have called. I'm sorry. No, it's okay, Michael. We can talk. I mean, I'm not happy that you're in my house, but it's okay. God, I can't even believe that key still works. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know if the key works or not. I climbed into the kitchen window. <laughs> Yo, can you hear that old lady raking? That's because she's a ghost, Joe. She died four years ago. <laughs> Quiet on set, guys. Hey, Mike D, shut the fuck up. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Because I fucked a camp. <laughs> I looked straight down the lens. <laughs> straight down the fucking lens. <laughs> Liquor store, his mama don't stay home no more. They're throwing a Christmas party, invited everyone. Well, about it, cuz. Go on and have these with his big feet. <laughs> well, about it, cousin. I'm gonna go have these on this big fat piece of If Santa still comes, we'll know we didn't do it right. Here, there, here, my babies are finally. Baby, that don't mean you gotta drink alone. Um, is this new? <laughs> <laughs> is this new? Do you double love it or triple love it? Oh, I love that shit, bro. <laughs> Fucking hey, that triple. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Who look right at me, I'll be in Mike D's position. This is crazy, man. Cut. You're not Cut. Eat your greens. That's all. I'm sick and I'm tired of being the only one with my shit together in this family. Just me and Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Daisy. You know what? Fuck you, Bridget. Hey, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Take it again. <laughs> that was perfect. Life's not all lilacs and young pussy. <laughs> this was mine. <laughs> this is my lap. Guys, guys, I need everybody in the kitchen. One more time, I'm sorry. It's focused. Where did I get this? I can't talk right now. I really. Uh, uh. You said you were divorced. Get out. Um, it's my house. Cut. <laughs>